Yeah, I have to actually, Professor Oak. I'm gonna go finish off that Scyther. And hopefully we will be able to finish this bad boy. Oh, maybe not with that Mega Punch, because Magneton is... Hmm... 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 Wait a second... Might have to do Defender there. And plop that on there, and then we go Microwave on the Scyther. And maybe I'll get an Energy card, maybe I won't, but it doesn't matter in the case of Scyther, because it's kind of... Yeah! <laughs> And there's Dark Machamp, yep, 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 as expected. But with the Defender, Magneton should stay around for another day. Boop. <laughs> so it's gonna do... Wait, what? Why did that? I had Defender in play to... Mega Punch is 30, that knocks it down to 10, but it did 40, what? Pardon? Did I miss something in the... Well, in any case... I gotta restart this part. <laughs> yeah, hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough! So yeah, I finally got a little bit of loss there, but that is okay. Uh, I can also show you this, in that it actually saves along the way uh, per duel, like you can just stop in the middle of a duel, but I never, never really did that, because I don't want to leave you hanging or anything like that. But yeah, if I start from the past save data, I'll go back to before I end up going over here. And now I gotta reshow the deck again, because... <laughs> it's not a bad deck or anything like that, I just... I have no idea what happened there, that was kind of weird. Like, uh, But anyway, I'm gonna go view that. I'm gonna actually take a look-see at Dark Machamp here, because did Dark Machamp have some sort of... thing that I forgot about? No? I'm like, how did she do 10 more day? I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I don't know, but anyway, the, the, whoops, the uh, confirmation page is right here, and it's no escape deck because of the bench attack dealio that I got here. I think I got your typical one paralysis type thing, but I also got explosions of doom, which don't apply weakness and resistances, it's another way It's for the no escape microwave. Uh, you choose a Pokemon, you can possibly remove energy from it. So that's also a bench attack dealio as well with that, and then we got Electabuzz, Paralysis, it's more like filler more than anything because I don't have that many bench attack critters as of right now, so yeah, that's, there's the quantities of those. Uh, here's the quantities of the rest of these here, I'll give you the rundown. I went for this, this Diglet because of Dig Under, bench attack of course, and Scratch is overpriced for that, but it's mostly for the Dig Under. Uh, this Doug Trio. Pretty dang nice, if it's on the bench it prevents all damage, so that'll stop, say, my self-destruct from hitting my own Doug Trio, for instance, and also Earth Wave can hit bench Pokémon, so that's a pretty nice card for the deck, but I only have one of those because it's a promotional, so I put Dark Doug Trio as a substitute for No Escape because a Sinkhole may do 20 damage to it, so yeah, it could be pretty nice overall. The Knockdown is in play there as well, which is more aggro than anything. It's not really as important as a sinkhole, but I'm lucky in this dog trio, as I said. And I also got this Hitmonchan because I might be able to do 10 damage to bench Pokemon. And also, it's one for 20, which is pretty nice. Because everything's got really specific energy types here. Uh, it doesn't use double colorless energy. In fact, none of these can use double colorless energy. See that? Yeah. So as a result of that, I got just a bunch of lightning and fighting, but in exchange, I got Energy Retrieval and Energy Search to kind of keep what I want to have in hand, in hand. And Defender, because stuff has low HP, uh, Professor Oak, Pokemon Trader, and Bill are the standards. And that is what we call a summary. Oh yeah, one more thing I should show you here. You're probably wondering about this time save thing. This is just me with all the over amount of copies of cards that I have. Like, when I have too many copies of stuff, I just... I've decided, you know, I want to plop them in here so I can just quickly dismantle this deck when I want to build a new deck. Because if you only have one deck, they'll say you can't dismantle it because it's your last deck. So I put this here as just being there to save time when I make a new deck up here or here or here or whatever like that. So anyway, all right, we're going to try this again here. And let's play that challenge machine. And we got Villacini, probably going to be another like a different sort of deck here, but yeah, the, as I was saying, the deck that I made isn't bad or anything like that, it just 
It bricked. It just happens in Pokemon sometimes. And... Magnemite is a go-go. We got James again. It's, a <laughs> it's, it's, always, it's always seems like James is here. We're making a part, I swear. <laughs> and... Well, that's a pretty nice start, I gotta say. Put that on Magnemite. And Thundershock. Come on. Oh. I was gonna say, come on, paralysis, but no. If I can knock out that Zubat really quick, that would be kind of a time saver. But, you know, before I get... Oh, please don't get... Oh, <laughs> oh wait, you, you pulled out Dark Ivysaur? Why didn't you get a basic Pokemon? Don't you know that I could just explode and... Well, it's his loss, I suppose. Because <laughs> I just do this. We explode and then we win. <laughs> I mean, yeah, we both take a prize card, but... Yeah, it doesn't matter, because he's out of bench Pokemon, isn't it? <laughs> so yeah, so that's something that this deck can do, is 40 damage on just turn 2 like that if I get the Magnemite, but that's not what I was going for there, it was just my sort of opportunity. Alright, Jess, let's cook up a storm at the Fire Club. Well, Fire Fortress once again. Ah, oh, poopers. <laughs> we'll get some basics eventually. It just, it just messes with us. <laughs> Um, what if they should have put, like, some sort of, I don't know, um, failsafe thing where you're always supposed to get a basic Pokemon at random? There's <laughs> something like that in your opening hand? Like, just, it, like, as if you reshuffled, as if you, you know, already did the reshuffling, so to speak. <laughs> and it just says you don't have basic Pokemon reshuffle. Just really quick there, or something like that, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I was just thinking about that, I was like, hmm, that's kind of, kind of would be a time saver if you think about it. <laughs> uh, isn't Diglett a zero retreat? Yeah. So I'm thinking I should switch over to Hitmonchan then, because I could potentially do a bunch of damage ahead of time. I should also probably use the other bill, that would be kind of nice to have. So free retreat, Hitmonchan. I don't think I want to do anything else here. I, I, like, I don't want. I don't know if I want to trade the Magneton for something because I don't know if I'll be able to, you know, actually take advantage of that or anything like that. And no damage to a bench Pokemon. That's fine though. I still got the one for twenty. So Hitmonchan here is sort of like a Machop in a way in that regard. But it may, it may very well do some damage to a bench Pokemon. That's the thing is that you know, the bench attacks are often an inconsistent type of dealio, so I also focused on the aggro side of things. Um, How many energy was that? It's two. So maybe I should go Dark Dug Trio, because if that's in play with the sinkhole, they might be taking damage on the retreats. How does that sound? I think that sounds pretty good. Mock Punch! Come on, heads. Yeah! <laughs> And we're gonna do a little bit of scratch damage to Meowth. It's not affected, I mean, it doesn't play with weakness and resistance when you attack bench Pokemon like that, so Meowth isn't taking double damage, but it's still, still pretty decent. Alright, Hitmonchan gets the knockout, and I guess I'll pop out the Doug Trio. And... Mm, I really wonder if I shouldn't just... Ah... Uh, mm, Mmm. <laughs> Trade for something that's lightning, you know? I probably should, because I got a lot of lightning energy, but... So I'll go Electabuzz, and probably retreat over to it. Oop. There we go. Isn't it a... Ah, oh, it's two. I thought it was a one retreat cost. Poopers. Well... I guess Doug Trio is probably bone, then. <laughs> that's fine, though. It's just an early game and everything like that, so... If it gets knocked out, it gets knocked out, I suppose. And it's 30... Well... Well... Do I get... Uh, hmm... I think Doug Trio's safe, now that I think about it. So, oh, it's gonna do 20 more, but that, that's kind of moot at this point, because it's gonna knock out Dark Rapidash, but yeah, the, uh... I don't think that he do any sort of... <laughs> And, like, enough damage to... Oh, he's, oh, he's doing the retreat, too. Well. Well. <laughs> I don't know why you just didn't just put out Magmar. Uh, Blazing Fire. But. But. Will the discard be chosen? No. <laughs> why? 
Like, what? Why wouldn't you... Because I'm just going to do a bunch of damage with the Doug Trio, and... Yeah, maybe he put out Meowth thinking that it would be saved. I mean, you know, saving Magmar from damage, but if he's not going to power up... Yeah. Anyway, knock down. Come on, heads. Come on, heads. Come on, heads. Yeah! <laughs> so, there we go. Wait, wait, that... Wait, did... wasn't Head supposed to do 20 more damage? I thought, what? I even got the... Or oh, did it have Defender and I wasn't paying attention? I just... <laughs> like, what's... what's oh, what the... huh? What... huh? This... wait, did that say Mints discard 35? Uh, <laughs> oh, your opponent flips a coin. Ah... Uh, if Head's... okay. Uh, why did I get that? Oh, maybe it's just... The defaults to that sound whenever you get heads in general. Well, if I get heads with the Electabuzz here, I'll be able to knock out the Magmar. Uh, yeah. Let's go! And, oh, of course not. Why wouldn't I? <sighs> Just how things roll with my critters. Well, actually, with my coin flips, not so much the Pokémon as it is the coin flips. The Pokémon have good effects, it's just... It's just, yeah. <laughs> so he's gonna go for all the damage he can on that end. Is that gonna be worth? Hmm. 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 I guess I'll do that. And there's the thunder shock because I don't want to risk taking damage to myself. So I'm gonna do that. And I think again, Electabuzz is kind of on the safe side. Because of the uh, low attack power of things in general. And yeah, it's got the scratch, but that's not really... And... <laughs> I wonder if I should retreat Electabuzz into something else. Just to kind of finish the job and prevent him from getting another prize card. Maybe... I'll let up. I really need some fighting energy here. That's where the energy retrieval comes into play. And... I would like... Uh, that Magmar is just... Eh. <laughs> I don't want to get that, you know, the last prize card, basically. So I'm gonna go to... Actually... Hmm... Should I go Diglett or Hitmonchan? Probably Hitmonchan, because it's got the 10 more HP. And I already attached the energy, so it's a Mach Punch. Maybe I can get some damage onto that Magmar, and I can. So that's pretty nice to see. Yeah, that's double damage, but that's kind of moot. Because it's going to do 20 regardless, and yeah. Alright, Magmar, Blazing Fire. But, depends on the discards. Zero discards. So, can I do 50 damage outright? Like, right now? I don't... Uh, I don't think I can. Put that in play. And actually, maybe I should have traded that for something. <laughs> maybe the Zapdos, because I got so much lightning. Uh, yeah, lightning. I mean, the Zapdos is kind of hard to power up in general. I mean, I'm gonna mock punch at the very least. And maybe actually I should go for the. Uh, um. Oh, Magma Punch. But yeah, maybe I should go for the. Uh, uh, Electabuzz, so I could just outright finish off the Magmar. Hmm. Hmm. Well, it's kind of too late now, but... <laughs> oh, Defender. That's kind of nice to see there. Pop that on there. Yes, actually, might have ended up losing there, but... Wait, actually, wait. Yeah. Other than that, I mean, I would have ended up losing if not for the Defender. We can get some... Really, really odd bad luck here. I mean, it's like, you know I got decent attack power in this deck. You see with the layout and stuff like that. I just... No, it's a bricking two days in... I mean, not two days in a row. Two times in a row. Two restarts in a row. <laughs> Alright, so Kangaskhan is going to be out of commission then. And... Uh, I think then we're going to be good. Um, I'm going to go Pokemon Trader switch over to something, like Electabuzz, because I got all that fanciful lightning energy. 
to save myself the hassle of stuff. And we're gonna go scratch to finish off the magmar. And wait, actually, why did I th overthink that? That was my last prize card. <laughs> well, anyway, that's a win. That's a win. Just don't don't overthink it. <laughs> Clyde, let's a go go psychic stuff. And that could possibly cause my fighting Pokemon issues. Some of them, not my ground type fighting, the fighting type fighting. Uh, Magnemite, gonna have to deal with it. And it's not gonna, you know, it's not double damage to Magnemite or anything like that, unless he's got fighting Pokemon splashed in, but I don't remember that. No trainer cards for me, alas. Alas, but I don't really have to worry about that right now, because I got Magneton. And I also have the power of paralysis, possibly, which I did. <laughs> Very nice. Also, he's got got no bench Pokemon. No Haunter. That might be an issue. Because <laughs> of the uh, yeah, the transparency effect there may very well not allow me to get any sort of attacks through. But I might be able to cause paralysis and uh, interest in general, but that mm, seems I don't know. Anyway, he didn't use the power of Frighten this time, so he can go ahead and bill away as many times as we'd like. <laughs> um, should I just go for the self destruct to see if we can win? Because if I get heads, I win this. Uh, because other other than that, I'm gonna get I'm gonna knock out myself. Because yeah, transparency is uh. See, it stops at just the Haunter, not to myself. Um, I would like a Defender, though, just in case. So maybe I can get one if I were to Professor Oak? Or should I just go Magneton? I don't know... Hmm... I think I'm gonna go for the Magneton, because that just seems so risky. Yeah, that wouldn't have worked then. <laughs> Uh, so, wait, no, no, wait, that, that, oh, no, wait, that would have been fine, yeah, because of the, okay. <laughs> well, well, how would I have known that? How would I have known that? Anyway, because, yeah, I was, I was the, the coin flip was for the, uh, the paralysis, it was not the, uh, transparency. Anyway, between turns, it doesn't matter if Magneton wakes up or not, because I have the powers of the power, <laughs> if that makes sense. And any sort of lightning energy would be pretty nice. Put that on there. Magneton's gonna microwave. Diglett in play. Um, I guess I really don't need the Professor Oak right now, so here we go. You're going to Haunter that, and maybe I can discard an energy. And will transparency work? Oh man, it worked. <laughs> That's the powers of the transparency. That's kinda kind of an issue <laughs> with that haunter. Gives you a very low chance of being able to hit that sucker. But well. But well. That was probably his best move, so I wouldn't blame him for doing that. <laughs> I would have done the same for the sake of safety sake. I'm gonna go try and go for the KO on that haunter. Alright. Well, not, not currently with this, but I mean when we go with the Electabuzz. Can I get some attack? Yes! Yes! Yes, everything worked in our favor! <laughs> kind of. <laughs> Wait, no, no, that was... Oh, shoot, that... Uh, that was his... Co mm. I'm an idiot. <laughs> uh, he's got to put my Magneton to sleep. Oh, that's actually a nice combo. If heads... Oh, no. I was going to say, if heads actually works out there. Uh, more sleep. Maybe heads? No. That's a no-go. And it's just gonna have to go, <laughs> go for the hypnosis. Would have been able to knock out my Magneton with the Dream Eater there, if, if that would have actually went through, but... Nope. That is the risk of the sleepy sleeps. Uh, ooh! Um... Ah, oh, it even works on the bench. I was gonna say, if I hit it on the bench, maybe it's... Yeah, I thought, no. Nah, it's a... Uh, it affects the whole thing, regardless of where it is. It'd be nice if he evolved that to Gengar, actually. <laughs> um, can I get that Haunter out of play? Maybe. At the very least, I'm going to try and get that energy off of I was going to say try and get the energy out. 
and I can do some damage at the moment in time. But that is not happening right now. <laughs> uh, full heal energy for the future, hypnosis for the possible dream eater in the future. That's got as much of a chance of actually working as the uh, me attacking that haunter, basically. Uh, I mean, yeah, it, it, it kind of stopped me there, but I mean, just in general. Because if I wake up on the next turn, then we'll meet, mean, won't be able to use the Dream Eater, and yeah. So, I get a Dug Trio, that'd be cool, thank you. Dark Dug Trio, if that's in play, I can stop, well, possibly stop retreats just by the threat of doing 20 damage. And I guess I should probably try to defend there just in case Magneton is actually in danger, but we'll see if I get... Tails. Oh yeah, it was in danger, wow! So that Dream Eater will actually work! <laughs> Very rare case of the Dream Eater. But yeah, I was wise to use the Defender then in that case, because it's going to leave it with just 10 HP, which is plenty for the fights in the future. And I'm going to plop that on there for the future as well. I'm going to go on that Haunter. Heads would be nice, thank you. And, yeah, I was just getting confused with all the coin flips with the <laughs> transparency and everything like that. It's like, it's like, was it transparency or was it my energy removal? Ah! <laughs> well, that didn't work out. And now uh, that will knock out the Magneton, but the idea here was to get something ready on the sidelines for when that Haunter came back in play, and that is Electabuzz. So in this case, I only need to flip heads once. Because he's not using the... yeah... <laughs> he, like, he won't be able to put my Electabuzz to sleep immediately when it comes out, so... I'm gonna go for that. Dang! But... Oh, 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 oh shoot, that one... no! I got, I got the coin flips mixed up again, so... <laughs> That's the absolute worst outcome possible. Well, so it's gonna be nightmaring myself again, once again... It's the 50-50 of the Haunter Haunter. That's kinda kinda how things roll. And oh. Oh. Oh! Do you know what happened there? If it stays asleep, yes! If it stays asleep, that means the Pokemon power is out of commission. The transparency. It's, it's yeah, see that? It uh, stops working while Haunter's asleep, confused, and paralyzed at the bottom there. Hello there, game-winning move for that the opponent kind of did, so... <laughs> doesn't matter what the coin flip is, but I would prefer not to get tails on that, because otherwise I'd take 10 damage myself. Alright, so yeah, that Haunter was quite a... quite a hitch in there. <laughs> and Electabuzz takes a nap because of the drowsy, but not much you can do about that as the coin flips. And... Confusion actually wouldn't... Well, I was gonna say, Confusion might actually be okay, because Electabuzz is immediately gonna wake up, but... Well, let's see if it wakes up anyway. It did! So I could knock out the Ghastly with, with a nice Thunder Punch coin flip. And... Oh, wait, actually, hold on a sec. I should trade... a Magnemite and get a Hitmonchan. Because I can possibly get something on the bench. Like, say, if I don't get the coin flip on Electabuzz, and a retreat happens, I can switch over to Hitmonchan and possibly knock out the Ghastly anyway. So, let's see if I get heads. I did, but I kind of had to do that for prevention measures to kind of fill out the no escape plan here. <laughs> Long distance. Very nice. That works in my favor. I need just need to do 50 damage to that Drowsy, and it's game over. Somehow, I don't think I can do 50 damage with anything that I have out right now, though. Uh, even if I blew up a Magnemite, it wouldn't be... Um... Dark Dark Trio can only do up to 40. Uh, I guess I'm just gonna have to deal with it. Just hope no other basic Pokémon comes along, you know? <laughs> so I'm gonna go for the, straight for the Thunder Punch, because regardless of the coin flips, it's gonna be two, knock, uh, two hits to knock out the Drowsy. So hopefully, it won't wake up. There we go, because now I can't use its Pokémon power. That'll also mean it can't retreat as well. 
So that is most likely game over. <laughs> Definitely game over because there's no bench Pokemon to switch to into in general. So let's just finish it off and call it a duel. See, I told you this deck isn't really that bad per se. It's just just bricked in that duel that you've seen that I cut through. <laughs> oh well. And that's why you save between your attempts at this, just in case, because you do not want to restart. And yeah, yeah, just just imagine going straight to zero because your deck bricks in terms of your streak and you don't get that coin. Yeah, yeah. Well, anyway, with colorless critters, uh, I don't I don't think he uses that many of them, if I remember correctly. Well, with color. Oh wait, no, no, maybe he does. Well, in any case, I don't have fighting energy right now, so I should go Electabuzz regardless, so just go plop that out there, because I can damage any colorless Pokémon with lightning, so that should be just fine. There we go, put that there, let's see what he's got, and yeah, this is actually... Yeah, I would, if only I had the fighting, I could wipe out this Clefairy pretty quick, but for now it just caused paralysis, hopefully, and it, we did. <laughs> And there we go, and it'll be nice to get heads again on the next turn to outright knock out the Clefairy. Uh, Dark Dragonair. Mm, might be a factor, maybe, it might be. Oh, wait, wait, why didn't you attach to the Clefairy? Did, you could have gotten an attack, I mean, yeah, the follow me to kind of offset what, well, I don't know. Maybe, maybe you just didn't want one of my, like, my Hitmonchan out because you didn't know what energy I had or something. Maybe. Anyway, I'm gonna go for the Thunder Punch heads, please. Thank you. And that is a prize card. Hopefully we can keep that up. It's probably gonna go to straight to Dark Dragonair, though. Uh, or maybe not, just going for the wrap. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> That's okay, uh, um, Wait, wait, wait. Bill. <laughs> I got that in the prize card. Um... Uh, I guess I should get something else going, because I still don't have any sort of fighting energy, and I can't do anything with the paralysis, so yeah. You're gonna have to call it a turn, ever the evolutionary light. And let's see if we get some dra not the dark dragonite? I I mean I guess that sorta of makes sense, because you yeah, you can't evolve since you just evolved the dark into dark dragonair, and darkness veil kinda helps that, but Still, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, that was not a full power tail strike there. But it could still knock out the Electabuzz on the next turn, so I'm gonna go use Defender just in case. Get the Electabuzz going there on the side, and unfortunately a little bit of scratch damage to myself, but that's still plenty of HP. Oh wait, oh yeah, Defender works even against my own damage. I forgot about that. Ah! Oh! <laughs> so that was a total zero there. Very nice! Yes, yes! Uh, I gotta keep that in mind. <laughs> oh, and by the way, the reason why Dark Dragonair didn't take that much was because of... Ooh, wow, that took full. Was because of Dark Clefairy. I mean, Dark Clefable, excuse me, if you remember that. It has the Darkness Veil to possibly reduce damage. Uh, by 10 or 20, but in that case it did a zero. Wow, you got the full power there. <laughs> um, to guarantee the knockout, I could go straight for the Magnemite. And then save Electabuzz for later. But I'm thinking I should actually go Electabuzz, because I got the Magneton. Oh, that... It's got the glitchiness next to <laughs> Yeah, didn't I have the... Oh, I don't have the Mag... Did I discard them? Or am I thinking of another game when I had the Magneton? Hmm. Hmm. And you know, I still have no fighting energy. <laughs> Just in general. Uh, there we go. Put that on there. I should probably Professor Oak to try and get the Mach Punch going for the colorless Pokemon. And, okay, now I got something. Only one, but it's something. Energy Search can get me another one, but yeah. Alright, so just to... Reiterate, there is Darkness Veil into play with Dark Clefable, so I'm gonna use Thunder Punch to guarantee the knockout. 
I mean, yeah, I could cause damage to myself, but I want to get rid of the Dark Dragonair because he's on his last Pokémon there. So I may very well be able to outright knock him out before he's able to stop any sort of onslaught that I have. Oh, shoot, I was going to say, you know, the onslaught that I have of just outright swooping his remaining critters. And I'm going to go to Hitmonchan. We're going to retreat because I can do the double damage and maybe I can wipe out the Dark Clefable really quick. That Dark Song could be kind of an issue. Possibly, but not so much to Hitmonchan as it is to my, yeah, my other setups in the future. Oh, and you know, I should do that. And, uh, oh, that's right, I did that too. I'm an idiot. <laughs> wait, wait. I should do, also do that. Mach Punch, come on, heads. Thank you. And I can start damaging Clefairy for the future. And, see, it stopped 20 damage from that with Darkness Veil. So, in a way, Dark Clefable will often have more HP than what it looks like because of that Darkness Veil. So I prevented 10 damage from that, and I just did double damage with that. Yeah. So there's the Sleepy Sleepies, and it'll do a little bit of damage to the benches. But, the, the kind of would be fitting for my deck, come to think of it, but... <laughs> anyway. Uh, Magneton... I'm still sleeping, so I think I'm gonna go Defender. I kind of want to get... Or I should say, I kind of want to keep Hitmonchan going here. And maybe I can get Zapdos going? Possibly? But for now, I gotta end my turn here. And no Wakey Wakey, but it doesn't much matter if I don't wake on their turn. Unless it's some sort of Pokémon power that needs to be in play or something like that. And... Wait, did, why did she even... I think that was a mistake there, because couldn't you still use the... Dark Song? Yeah, because he could have possibly did damage to my bench stuff, and I'm still napping, so... <laughs> um, I guess... Go for Electabuzz. Just to make sure, like, in case I don't get the Zapdos going. I probably will be able to, because the Energy Retrieval and stuff like that, and Energy Search, but just, just to be sure. And whoops, and yeah, I'm not gonna have to end off the turn thusly, and see how things go. Maybe the Dark Song will get a Tails this time. It did not, of course. Because, you know, opponents get the coin flips in their favor. I do not. <laughs> <clears throat> but that's okay. It just increases the difficulty, which I am up for. <laughs> uh, ooh. Ooh. That could be nice. I can go to Dark Doug Trio. I mean, I mean, excuse me, just Doug Trio, maybe. Uh, anyway, this is probably gonna play out to the full prize cards, unfortunately. But anyway, <laughs> um, I don't know what I should do here. Like, should I power up Magneton for the future, or Electabuzz, or keep working on Zapdos because it can blow up everything, or? <laughs> I'm thinking I should go for that Doug Trio. So we're gonna go for Fighting Energy. How about that? And Mach Punch, come on, heads. Oh. Come on, Darkness Veil, don't do any prevention. Thank you, yes! So that means I'll probably be able to knock out Dark Clefable on the next turn. But with something, with something. <laughs> And, of course, look at that, it's amazing with the coin flips, but I guess it doesn't much matter now anyway, because Hitmonchan is going to be knocked out, but it, it, at the same time, it does damage to the bench, though, so <laughs> that's still a factor. Alright, so, now in this case, I think I'm actually going to go Electabuzz, because, well, that's nice to see, because I'll, I'll be able to out outright knock out Dark Clefable, and we're going to be able to stop this charade of... The, you know, the Darkness Veil causing issues, so regardless of the coin flip, I'll be able to get 10 damage through to it. So in that case, I oh, yeah, prevented 10 damage, but I take 10 damage to myself. Defender's nice, but I think it's going to be KO'd by that Clefairy. Just saying, if I remember correctly. Well, actually, oh no, that's... Yeah, it's 10 damage for the Shining Fingers. Alright, so Electabuzz is still in this. <laughs> And woke up. Nice, nice. Um, so now I wonder. 
I shouldn't try and get that Doug Trio going as quickly as I can. Hmm. Like, say, if I were to. Oops. <laughs> if I were to energy retrieval, and then I discard, say. Like, this is kind of a difficult discard. Because I don't want to discard the Hitmonchan just in case I need the. Yeah. I'm thinking I'll discard. The Magneton. And we're gonna go for the Fighting. And I guess Lightning. <laughs> so, on Diglett. Dub Trio. This will also do the Switch Revenge and Delio and Thunder Punch. Come on, heads for once. Dang you! <laughs> Unbelievable! It's just every time I swear. When, I, when it matters, I should say, every time. Alright, so I guess we're gonna go straight out to Doug. I don't know, because I don't know if I'm gonna get a fighting energy. <laughs> uh, maybe straight out to Magneton. Because at the very least, I can wipe out the, the Clefairy as long as I'm able to wake up from the swinging fingers, so. Mm, yay! For once, things worked out! <laughs> so I got that. And ooh, Professor Oak is pretty nice too. I'm gonna actually put everything into play then. Professor Oak! It's basically draw seven cards and discard zero. Well, I guess you discard Professor Oak, but you know what I mean. Mm, uh, I got plenty of fighting now. But now a Hitmonchan is, is it's kind of a factor. But you might be able to microwave the Clefairy. First off, well, like, well we are going to be able to microwave the Clefairy, but I mean, with that Defender on Magneton, that's going to be kind of kind of nice in general, but we might be able to just outright knock out the Magneton uh, just fine as is. Uh, wait, wait, hold on a sec. If I blow up my Magnemite, <laughs> like in the future there, like if I'm able to, I'll be able to finish off the Hitmonchan, guaranteed. And no no need for coin flip as you see there, is no energy cards. So I just need to do 30 damage to the Hitmonchan for the win, unless he gets another basic, which with his luck he probably- of course he will, I was gonna say with his luck he probably will. Yeah, of course he did. Oh, of course he did. <laughs> So I might as well just kind of leave Magneton out then. Although, hmm. Uh, uh, yeah, I will. Microwave a Hitmonchan. Basically, whatever has energy out, I'm going to microwave. <laughs> just see how that goes. And build. Draw two. It's getting to the nitty gritty of my deck here in general, by the way. And <laughs> Hitmonchan. Microwave, there we go. So he's out of energy, but now with that Onyx, it's got a lot of HP. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to get it down as quickly as I possibly can. If I possibly can. Um, one retreat, two retreats. How about we try for this? We're gonna go retreat into Doug Trio, and maybe, maybe we can finish it off really rapidly. How about that? Earth Wave. And no bench Pokemon to flip a coin for, so I'm just gonna call that a turn. So now it's down to 40 HP, right? 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 So... Oh, the, oh Resistance! Oh, I was gonna say I'll just blow up Magnemite! <laughs> so I might as well attack with Doug Trio. Man! Man! Um, wait, hold on a sec. Should get the other Hitmonchan going there. And Earth Wave. So, hopefully, if no basic Pokemon happens, and no Switch happens in general, we win! <laughs> uh, Clefairy, please no Switch. Please don't Switch. Please don't Switch. Okay. <laughs> We're done here. <laughs> well, at least for that. For that duel, there's one more dealio after this. <laughs> oh, jeez. Alright, maybe we can sweep Villasini relatively quickly here. 
because, you know, he, he doesn't use a lot of Pokémon, he's more about the trainer cards. So, he might be able to just kind of blast through that, and he's using the um, grass, I mean, grass deck again. It's kind of interesting. Uh, I wouldn't switch it up on subsequent plays, but I guess it is randomized, so... <laughs> oh, man. Uh, Electabuzz, and I'm gonna go Energy Search, then, I suppose. There we go, please go first. Please, for the love of Arceus, go first. No! <laughs> oh, it's Kangaskhan, so that's not too bad. Um, if I get a Hitmonchan or some other fighting Pokémon, that would be kind of nice to kind of wipe out what he's got. Huh? What he's got on the field, but if you think about it, he doesn't get that many Pokémon in general, so... He might still be okay in that regard. Uh, Diglett's there. And yeah, we're gonna go straight to the energy search. Cause I wanna get something on Lectabuzz to prevent the draw power if I can. And that was kind of a failure, but <laughs> I tried. I tried. Uh, maybe I can also knock out the Kangaskhan in two more shots. Probably not with my coin flipping. <laughs> and Mulbasaur is getting the energies. But Without the evolution ease, it's kind of at a standstill ease. I'm gonna plop that on there. And heads, please. See what I mean? <laughs> well, well, can't say I didn't try, as I said before. So I got a lot of Pokemon in play in general to stall out if need be. Uh, evolutionary Light's now in play, so that's, yeah, I was gonna say now he's gonna be able to get all of his stuff out ish. Uh, why I say ish is because, well, the, the thing about it is, it's still, you know, this deck doesn't have a lot of attack power, so it just doesn't feel like it gets very far, so to speak, if that makes sense. And I guess I should Thunder Punch again. Yes, yes. Oh, by the way, you also notice I'm not using energy removal in the deck uh, this time, just to kind of mix things up, because I figured if I'm knocking Pokémon out on the bench, I'll be able to suck up their energy in general, because, yeah, <laughs> but, well, you know, it's kind of kind of hit or miss, depends on the situation, I just thought I would mix things up, as I said. Uh, Dark Venusaur, that Horrid Pollen, kind of makes me wonder if I shouldn't use Defender, because that's, that's incoming here. That's probably prevent some of that damage. I don't want to use both of the Defenders, this is going to be kind of a waste of HP uh, savages, I guess you could say. And I'm not going for the Thunder Punch, because I don't have to, so Thunder Shock it is for the knockout. Please give me Professor Oak. Eh, that's okay, I guess. I was going to say Professor Oak to kind of accelerate things along here. Uh, wait, why would you go for Dark Venusaur? Why not D Dark Dragonair for more evolutionary... I don't know. <laughs> anyway. And a Kangaskhan. Wow, yeah, it's going to be... He's getting all the Pokémon this game, unfortunately for me. Um... I'm gonna go put Hitmonchan there, an energy search, a fighting, oh, right on the next turn, of course. And put that on Hitmonchan for the future, and maybe I can knock out the Dratini. Yeah! Thank you for working at a time I needed to work, game. Thank you. <laughs> oh, oh, maybe I should have put the Defender on there. But maybe he didn't put out the uh, Dark Venusaur because I, put the, I didn't put the Defender on there. Uh, well, it's gonna be poison no matter what, so we shall see what comes of it. It's gonna be poison plus sleep. Will it wake up, though? That is a question. That may be key here. It did not. Well, because, yeah, the poison is gonna do its duty here. But I got Professor Oak now, so... Um... I wonder if I... No, I was, no, I was gonna say, I wonder if I... No, Defender won't work because it's gonna be a knockout regardless due to the poison. Uh, cause yeah, Defender doesn't work against Poison, if I remember correctly. Uh, cause I was just thinking it's gonna take 10 between turns, I didn't think of what kind of 10, if that makes sense. Um... Hmm... Although, at the very least, I probably should just plop it in play, just for the sake of using it, like, cause I'd like to use Professor Oak. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not using the energy retrieval because I'm just gonna end up discarding one of the two energy cards anyway. So yeah, I just wanted to see what I would get out of that before I jump to any conclusions of what I want to attach energy to, you know? 
Um, I could go for the Magnemite Explosion <laughs> on one of them, or both of them. Mm, or I could go for the Zapdos. Mm. Mm. I could go for the Diglett, that would also... Uh, I think I'll actually go for the Zapdos. I think that's my best bet, and whoops, call it a turn. Because I have... I'm like, I'm one energy card away from all those other attackers, so... I'll put out whatever I need to put out, basically, and then power that up, and then... As I wait that out, then I just kind of go for the Zapdos power up and stuff like that, so... Alright, so we're gonna go... I suppose Hitmonchan, because it's out of the range of kind of the poison there. And Zapdos is promised. And I guess I'll leave it as is and mock punch. Maybe I can do something to a bench. Nope. But that leaves Dark Venusaur at 50, which I can do with a decent amount of things. I th Wait, actually, no, I think a lot of these things are uh, 40 hitters, come to think of it. Um. What did he get out of this paralysis? So, Hitmonchan is most certainly kind of stuck here. <laughs> Especially since I'm not using switch cards or anything like that. It's just mostly focused on the bench dealios. And Mill. Uh, Dark Dug Trio, yes! That can do a bunch of damage. I'm gonna put that in play right away because Sinkhole will come into play then. And. That will be my next attacker, I suppose. <laughs> Probably. Uh, yeah, I'm done for this turn. I gotta do... I mean, I gotta allow the uh, Hitmonchan to be KO'd, and... Now this is the decision of Destiny, probably. I think I'll go Magnemite and just let it get knocked out, in all honesty. Because he's just, I guess you could say more, more than anything, sort of catching up with prize cards. And wait, why would you use plus power when everything poisons? <laughs> like, what? what? <laughs> okay, fine, well, you, you do that. And I will call it a turn, because I got the power-ups, the stuffs. And... Mm. 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 Magnemite. Because I can possibly cause paralysis. How does that sound? I think that sounds pretty good. And then I'll be able to finish off with Zapdos. So come on. Heads, please. This is critical. Heads, please. Yes. Well, okay, maybe not that critical, but it helps. <laughs> Alright. So we got that Dark Venusaur possibly in the bag. Oh, that's... Yeah, that's gonna kind of affect things a little bit. Sort of, kind of. Maybe in terms of the Zapdos set up there, but I don't know. I don't know. That might actually be useful. Because I could potentially start zippy zapping it with the Magneton as well. And since the, uh. Oh. Uh, hmm. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna do that. And. Thundershock. Come on, heads. Come on, heads. Yes! Very nice to see coin flips going well for me. <laughs> and so now we're gonna go Magneton on the next turn and start attacking the... Ooh, nice. And start attacking the Dark Venusaur to finish it off. I'll also be able to suck up the energy cards, possibly. Eh, not that time. But it's mainly for just to stop that Horrendous beast <laughs> for causing ire in the future. Ran out of space there, but well, we're back again. I was just saying that to stop the Venusaur from causing trouble in the future. That's all I said before I was cut off by the camera. At least I think. But anyway, uh, so I'm gonna actually go power that up. Get Electabuzz going off on the side. And the, the only reason that I kind of ran out there was because, remember, I had that failed run and I had a bunch of time stuck on there in general, so... <laughs> uh, 
just, you know, because, you know, I didn't want to cut out any sort of losses as I always show everything in their entirety, basically, unless I... Unless, like, the whole thing is just, you know, the whole run is ruined because of that, in which case I kind of had to do that as such, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> it's okay if I have a little splice in there, not that big of a deal. And, I mean, it, you didn't really miss anything. You knew it was, he was going to do the fetch and stuff like that, so, yeah. And... Actually, I, I, actually, I might even be able to show all what he did, depending on uh, what I lost. I don't know. <laughs> I'll, I'll see in editing, I suppose. Um... So, yeah, I'm going to go for the Electabuzz. And... I'm very tempted to retreat that and go into Doug Trio because I can pot potentially knock out Kangaskhan. I think I will do that though. There we go. If I get heads, it's a knockout. Oh, <laughs> well, I tried. <laughs> oh wait, what? Wait. Oh, is it the, the oh? Is the opponent flipping the coin or? I d I didn't pay much attention to that. But the, oh, he might run out of cards too. I just realized that. But we'll see. Uh, that could potentially knock out the- wait, no, that's- yeah, it doesn't affect the uh, weakness and resistance dealio. Alright, but yeah, the, uh... Uh, wait a second, I just- I did that wrong. Uh, knockdown. Oh yeah, it was the opponent flips a coin. If tails, I see, I see. So that Dark Ivysaur is actually not gonna be, uh, double damaging my Dark Dark Trio then. So... I think we're good in that regard. Um, let's see here. I'm thinking I should go get another Diglett going if I can. You know, into that other Doug trio. And heads, please. Well, I mean, wait, yes, yes. <laughs> wait, no, no, that's. Oh, it said, oh, I, I didn't misread that. It said if heads plus 20 damage. Ah, so there's a little flub there on the actual dialogue dealio. Interesting. Interesting. Anyway, you know what I should do, too? Go into Zapdos and really wreck this place. <laughs> I could cause damage to myself, but chances are I'm gonna be able to knock out something with this, or at least cause enough damage to finish it off with something else. Because uh, I only have one prize card left, so here we go. Ready, Thunderstorm! Be able to knock out the Dark Ivysaur for sure. But the thing is that now we're going to be flipping coins for all the bench Pokemon. Nice. That's 20 damage there for that. And 20, I mean, some damage to Zapdos itself. Some damage to Zapdos itself. So, so as you see, that's how it rolls. Nice to see Dark Dragonair at least take some damage there because of the uh, evolutionary light. So he can maybe get that out of play. Uh, wait, did you just put out Bulbasaur? Like, uh, well, I guess, <laughs> but I was gonna say, why would you put out... Anyway. <laughs> uh, so that Thunderstorm is definitely gonna be going out there again. And we're gonna go Dog Trio that there. And... Um... Yeah! Thunderstorm, here we go. Scyther automatically takes 40, and... Nice, nice. Doubly nice, triply nice. Oh, <laughs> well, I tried, I tried. But anyway, uh, Dratini's only got 20 HP left, by the way. So this game could very well be done if I get a head flip on the uh, uh, Dratini next. Oh, actually, it doesn't matter if I get that because I'll be able to knock out Scyther. Nice, nice. Because yeah, Thunderstorm's just gonna do 40 automatically, and I guess we'll see the coin flips anyway. Nothing. So that would have been a, not another knockout, so I technically took uh, seven prize cards in this game because I'm going to get, yep, Dratini knockout as well. So I get that, but I don't get another one. <laughs> but that's okay because I won. And thus my streak, soda streak, <laughs> increases. Happy days. <laughs> Woo! So yeah, that's all you want to save before any of your attempts and revert to that save because you don't want to reset your streak back to zero when you're going for that coin, you know? You know, just save yourself the headache because your deck is probably gonna brick one of the times along the way, so... <laughs>
And there we go. That is a cleared challenge machine run once again. And with that, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part when I go at it again with another deck. And I think this deck that, I'm, that I have in mind is going to be quite powerful.